Eric Engelbert with Orange County Real Estate, and today we're going to talk about the real estate data from the last week, July 11th through the 18th. The first uh, slide is the current properties for sale. So in Orange County, we have 4,116 homes for sale. Uh, that includes single-family homes, townhomes, condos, um, <clears throat> duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes. So that number has gone up, but that's good. We're steadily increasing inventory for the last few months. That's a good thing, but we still are at very low numbers. The next line is in the entire U.S. That's 509,000 homes for sale, single-family homes for sale. That number has gone up a little bit as well. That's great. We need those uh, inventory numbers to keep going up so we don't have such a crazy, crazy market and so much buyer competition. Um, but keep in mind that these numbers are still very low. Uh, we need those U.S. numbers to be closer to a million. So at this, you know, 509,000, it's just not enough inventory for prices to drop uh, dramatically anywhere. Um, properties <clears throat> under contract and pending in Orange County is 2,038. That's basically the same as last week, just ticked down a little bit. So people are still buying properties, so that's a good sign. Um, the next slide is days on market. In Orange County, the median days on market is 25. That's gone up slightly. The average days on market is 30. That's gone down slightly. Um, the outliers. I didn't see any major outliers there. I tried looking at the luxury end. Normally, the luxury end is from 1.5 million and up, but I look at 2.5 to 5 million. And in that, I feel like it's kind of evened out a little bit. Those homes, days on market is just over 50, and just over 50 is still considered a seller's market. Uh, so there's still demand in that range, uh, still good demand in that range. Um, there was one outlier for a short amount of days on market, and that's Old Town Orange at 13 days. So it felt like uh, that was worth noting. That's a healthy market there in Old Town Orange. Um, basically, what this slide is telling us is that there's still a lot of demand. It's still a seller's market. I mean, 30 days is the average uh, days on market. That's still very low. And so there's still a strong demand for housing here in Orange County. Um, also, to note the very first slide, our inventory is still low. So with strong demand and low inventory is a sign of a, not necessarily a healthy market, but it's a sign that prices are not going to bottom out or drop. All right, the next slide is, uh, the first thing is sold price versus lift price. Uh, that's 1.6% higher, so homes are still selling a little bit higher than the list price. Um, that's a sign of demand, that's a sign that people are buying homes, and probably a sign that there's multiple offers, which I know that there's still multiple offers, maybe not 20, but one, two, three offers still coming in on homes, so uh, there's still buyer competition. Uh, the next slide, next um, line down is immediate sales in Orange County at 3.3%. Um, that's been a, that's about the same as last week, but the U.S. Uh, is 18%, so that's come down uh, from 21% last week. Still, an interesting number that homes are selling within two days of being on the market. 18% of the homes. Um, that still says it's pretty high demand. Uh, the next thing is price reductions. Price reductions have gone up in Orange County and in the U.S., so in OC, 27%, and in the U.S., 33.3%. Um, so these are price reductions. These aren't market value drops. I feel like a lot of these price reductions are because people were testing the waters and pricing their house a little bit higher than market value, and now they're reducing the price to the market value. Um, <clears throat> we're going to keep an eye on this, obviously. It's interesting to see um, how many price reductions there are and are they lowering it under market value, under what the last house sold for, but we're not seeing that. When we look at the data of the previous home sales in the neighborhoods and in those zip codes versus you know what the new list price is and what, um, what they're selling for, there's not a huge discrepancy there. So. That will be something to keep an eye on in the future if actually market values are coming down, but we're not seeing that now. Again, lots of demand, especially here in Orange County, and not enough inventory. Um, if you want to look at the data specifically in your zip code or in your city or in your neighborhood, uh, just reach out, give us the zip code or the neighborhood, and we'll give you all that data. It's interesting um, 
especially if you're considering moving anytime soon, it's interesting to know that data. It gives you an idea of how long it's going to take you to sell and what price you, you could uh, look for getting uh, looked at for your house. All right, um, lots of ways to reach out to us. You can uh, leave a message here or you can call us or go to our website, ocrealestateinc.com. All right, have a great week. Thank you very much.